In this video we're going to look at some of the user options that are available once you set up a user in REI Master. Underneath the user, uh, sorry, user profile and portfolios you've got user options here and you can see here my user that I'm logged in as Scott here. We've got a number of tabs that we can look at some options that relate to my setup there. So the first one here is email settings. We can override the default email settings that have been set up in the general configuration so that they relate specifically to me as the user. Um, one of the prompts here says only use these settings if you're running a network where each user is logging on with different names and passwords. So if you're working in a large business uh, management rights or real estate industry a real estate agency where you log on to your computer with your own information you might want to adjust or set up the override here for the default email settings. The views and filters tab now you can see here for the different icons that we have along the top you can set different views and different search filters as well. So with our owners we have our default view we've also got our disbursement view. With our rentals there we've got a variety of different views that we can look at Okay. With our tenants as well, a couple of different options there which you can show rental status. So I'm just going to show or change a couple of these ones here as we look to see. You can then also change the default search filter as well. So you can see here with this one we can default it to search on surname as opposed to the reference. Again with this one here we can default to surname. Reminder is an important one particularly for users who are set up for multiple tasks there definitely activate your reminders and put the dot in the option there for whether you want to be reminded for tasks you schedule or for which ones that you schedule for yourself and for others. Then for the task type we have our reminder option. The default as you can see is 15 minutes here. For phone calls and faxes probably good. For inspections I always find that a two week reminder is probably better than a 15 minute one. Better to be reminded a few weeks before the inspection is due than right on the dot before it's supposed to happen the time that you are unable to use. The reason I give a two week reminder is in most cases you'll need to give a seven day notice to most of your tenants in order for that inspection to occur. So if I do set the reminder as one week and I miss actioning that reminder I've lost my ability to issue the notice with the appropriate notice. In this way selecting two weeks gives us plenty of time to action that particular task. Other options there of course for meetings, to-dos and others you can change or adjust those accordingly. And you can see there's quite a different number of options at days, hours, minutes etc in order for you to make adjustments to when you're reminded about those tasks. Electronic signatures we've covered in a previous video. This allows you to put signatures on your receipts, forms and some reports when necessary. Uh, important that you check with your auditor or state legislation to ensure that the use of electronic signatures is legal on your documents there. Your tasks tab, this is the default status when you're creating a task. Inspection ones are listed as not started, in fact all of these are of course. So what you can do with them is obviously change these if you need to do so, so that the default status is something else when you create that particular task itself. Toolbar is for ones there will be coming soon in a new feature uh, of ARIA Master and our other settings here. Preview reports before printing we've got the tick in the box and these are options here for the Outlook Sync uh, option or feature that's available in the Easy Res Online, uh, sorry the REI Master Premier Edition of the program there. If you do make any changes of course to the tasks or tabs here you must click on save and then close out of there. So a couple of the ones that I can show you that we did make adjustments to, particularly if I go to my owners here, you'll see now at the moment that it shows me the disbursement view of my owners. If I go down here I can show the default view or what would normally come up but as I say I've set mine to be that disbursement view when I open up the screen there. What you can also see on the search field here is that I'm searching now by surname as opposed to reference which is the default in most cases on your list of information there. The tenants one was one that I also adjusted the information to and on this one here we're looking at the rental status for our tenants and again our search field was listed as surname in the, in the position there. So in this video I've looked at some of the options that you can set for individual users that are set up in the program. 